There you go. Oh, y'all here. Okay, I see y'all now. I thought I was here by myself. How y'all doing today? Hey, Heidi Light. I like that name. Hey, beloved. Beloved. <laughs> I was just coming on to say hey to y'all. Yo, I gotta tell y'all something. Hi, beautiful. How's your day going? My day is perfect. My day is perfect. All of my days are perfect. Every last one of them were... Where are you from, pretty woman? Oh, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. But I just moved out here to Arizona. And that's one thing that I want to share with y'all that I noticed. You know how, like, people... Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You must have saw my, one of my previous videos. Yeah. You know what I learned about like when we move? You know, I always looked at us as energy and being like percentages of the sun, condensed versions of the sun, right? Oh, you did. Thank you. I appreciate your support. But I was, I, I went to this event out here, you know, to network, to meet new people out here. And I saw some black people, some black ladies. I thought that was really cool because, you know, actually, to be honest with you, this is a diverse area, but you, re you don't really see the black ladies that much. So I was really excited to see like energy, you know. You know, they have a lot of Mexicans and, you know, you see a lot of uh, Caucasians. And you don't even see black men, but the black ladies were so rare. I'm like, what, what's going on? Y'all don't come out? until um nighttime <laughs> and i guess it's because it's hot i don't know i don't know let's see we're not just the hell we produce out there just like the trees because we're carbon beans carbon beans yeah 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 so we like the trees we like the sun we like the air we like all of these things because we are all of us it's just god but anyway so i was talking to them and i realized something about being in a different place being, you know, when you move and I, you know how you, your body has to really get accustomed to certain places since you, we're the percentage of the sun, we are per sun. And so your body has to get used to the sun in that particular area. So I always did drink water and stuff, right? Thank you. I appreciate that user four, six, seven. I always drink water, right? I always, you know, most of my videos, I'm walking around with water because I've been trying to get at least, you know, uh, close to a gallon as possible for the day. And look, I still have some more to go for this here day, right? I have to stay hydrated. But even more here, I have to stay hydrated because the sun is like this drier sun. And so the lady was telling me something that I never knew. And maybe some of y'all, if any of y'all are from here, maybe y'all know about this here. Coming from humidity in New Orleans to going to um, dry heat, like out here in Arizona, the lady was saying, if you pay attention, you're gonna, um, you might be dehydrated and don't realize it. So you gotta stay on top of your water intake. And your hair, she said your hair on your arms and your legs are gonna stop growing. Y'all know anything about that? <laughs> Cause as soon as she said that, I was looking at all the black ladies that was there and they don't have hair on their arms and their legs. It's something about maybe the, the sweat glands or the skin clothes or some stuff like that. But anyway, these people have smooth skin, like with no hair. Like, like I have hair, if y'all can see it. I have hair now, and I actually wanted to put my hair on this particular video so that maybe in two months, if I don't have no hair no more, I could see. But, like, actually, to be honest with you, my hair was, like, a little bit longer. I never really paid attention to it, but I know that I always had hair on my arms because this is a place that I don't shave, you know, my hair at. So y'all know anything about that? Y'all know that people, <laughs> if you do, let me know. Because um, that is like the wildest thing that I ever heard of. Yes, I was just thinking about you. Hey, Miss Being So, you off today? You say what, Tuesday and Wednesday? What is today? Oh, it's Wednesday. Yeah, you're off. <laughs> yeah, so, oh my God, 38. Oh, I haven't seen you in so long, baby. How you doing? Oh, it's my off day. Yay. Okay, it is your off day. That's so beautiful. Cute shirt. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, it's a Healy Light Nose, Miss Being Soul. She's a beautiful person. Love the hair. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, exactly. It's happened to me when I moved here, too. Oh, so you don't have no hair no more? <laughs> you know, for a 
for my legs. I'm excited for my legs. That's the craziest thing. I'm excited for my legs because, you know, every two, three days, you know, you be in the shower with shaving your legs. But, okay, well, what about the hair on your head, though? Because I don't want... <laughs> So I've been paying attention to other people, arms and legs, and these people not having hair. And it's the craziest thing. I just thought that that was so interesting. So anyway, I'm standing up there talking to them. And that day, I hadn't drunk as much water as I needed to. And I'm talking. And this was maybe about 7 or 8 o'clock. And the sun was setting. And we were all outside. And all of a sudden, I started sweating so profusely around these people. And I look at them and they ain't even sweating. And I was like, what is going on? I'm talking about sweating like, I don't know if y'all watch cartoons, but like I do. And I love SpongeBob SquarePants and Mr. Squiggler. <laughs> and so you know on the cartoon, if a cartoon character is sweating, the water is just coming down like a leaky faucet. That was me sitting up there. <laughs> that was me standing up there talking to the people. And I'm just sweating and I'm looking at myself like, is going on and so that particular day I hadn't drunk water meanwhile I was standing there with a big old water bottle in my hand like the water bottle that I just showed you but I hadn't drunk any I was just kind of like carrying it and it was like you know the first month or so when you move here you gotta really be careful with your water intake because they even have like military people here in some little city nearby they say and they'd be like easy on them for like I don't know, boot camp or whatever they're doing at the military for working out purposes, they be easy on them because like the air intake quality is different from where they came from and that they have to stay hydrated or the military people pay us out or something like that. Y'all know about this yet? I thought that was the craziest stuff. So anyway, after I drunk the water, then I stopped sweating. I mean, I was sweating like a sponge, like, like to drench. You know, like, if I was to, like, do this to my shirt, it would have been a whole lot of water coming out. It was the craziest, the funniest thing that ever happened that I learned about our skin and our body. I never knew this. Let's see. <laughs> yes, it happened to me when I moved here, too. So, please let me know if you still have hair. I mean, like, what's going on with the head here, too? I'm doing great. I'm, I moved out. You moved out of Louisiana, too? <laughs> Where you moved that, babe? Everybody leaving Louisiana. Hey, sis, I'm excited for your move. Oh, thanks to Zara Green. Thank you. I appreciate that. I've never had hair on my arms or legs. Really? Empress. Okay. Okay. I have. I have. My legs and my arms. My arms still have it so far, but like I said, I put it to that camera, so... Maybe she said it only, it's about two or three months. So after two or three months, I'm gonna come back to the camera and let y'all know if I still have hair or not, if I'm like everybody else or different in that area. Let's see. So I stay hydrated, even hair. I spray with oil. Spray when it's extremely dry. Okay. So you spray it with oil and stay hydrated. Okay, so it won't get brittle. I can see that. Yeah, my products that I make, are, you know, have the oil in it, and I do wash my hair often, too. I don't have hair either. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think that is the weirdest thing. Like, what's going on with hair? I got to find out. I got to do research. Like, is it that the skin is, like, closing and the hair follicle is being shut or something? I gotta find that out seriously though because even in alignment with my business you know making hair products making my lotions and body butters and stuff if the skin gonna be a little bit different you know i might have to tweak my products to be a little bit different for the people out here too <laughs> that is so interesting to me though it blew my mind my hair on my head is still on my head <laughs> Okay, well, at least the hair on your head is still there because I want my hair to stay there too. I mean, I have braids, but my hair is actually the length of this, these braids at this point, you know. It, it shrivels up, but it is this here particular length. So, like, woo. Wow. Oh, you in Oklahoma. How is it like that? And why did you leave New Orleans? Was it because of the hurricanes? You got tired of rebuilding? You, 
You had any damage like me or you just want to change? What happened 30? You had any damage like me or you just want to change? What happened 38? And why you left Louisiana? I'm curious to know since, since I just left too and you left. You went to Oklahoma. That's a beautiful thing. Whatever the reason is, I, I'm happy for you. I'm happy. I, I'm hopeful that you're just as happy as I am and you experiencing so much joy and bliss like I am. So much freedom. Because it's a beautiful move, a beautiful step that I took. And I'm, I'm just so happy about it every day. My thoughts are, are clear. My mind is clear, you know. In a peaceful state of being is what I'm saying. I, not worrying, not feeding like I'm in survival mood anymore. Because like what it is, we're in July. Next month being August with rain and storm season. Because I was hitting it. I was getting hit from that aspect of survival mode in two places because I worked for a utility company, you know, who we will always be, you know, all hands on deck during storm season. Not only that, the living there too, storm season. So if it wasn't for, if it wasn't a storm at my home, it was a storm in the four, you know, states of service territory that we supported on my job. So it was always me knowing about the storm, about the, you know, snow in Arkansas, you know, about whatever, even in Texas or Mississippi. So I was really in it. So let's see. What did you say? <laughs> it's the funniest thing when I saw that comment. She said, I don't have any hair either. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny, but I'm glad Miss B is so still have hair on her head. I mean, I look forward to keeping my hair on my head too. I left Nola three times. I'm done. Three times? You went back three times, though? How you how you left three times? Does that mean you went back for some more? That Nola was that good to you? Nola had that comeback? <laughs> Nola had that comeback energy. But you know one thing about it, though? It's the fact that it is deeply rooted with soulful energy. It's like... You feel so tied, for me, I felt so tied to the ancestors, so deeply rooted, like it was like, it was like home to like the fourth power, like on a deeply rooted level, you know, to the point where, you know, if you were to evacuate, like for Katrina or whatever, when you came back home and rebuilt, you was just like, ah, back home, there's no place like home. And even the people, like you don't find people like New Orleans people, you know, throughout the other states. You go to New York and it's a different energy. They so fixated and focused, you know, they're in their subways, in their business state of mind. You you go to Mississippi, they country, they into so they feel and they red rock or whatever, red dirt and all that. But you go to New Orleans and it's like a mixture of soulful, good energy, ancestors, home, you know, just everybody just being so cool and welcoming. It's, it's different to me. Maybe because I've been there so all my life, but it was hard to break from that. It's hard. Hello, neighbor. Hey, Flex Jr. Oh, yeah. Hello, neighbor. How are you? Now, let me ask you a personal question, Mr. Flex Jr., just in case you just get here. Do you have hair on your legs <laughs> and hair on your arms? Because I'm hearing that the people down here after so many months they lose their hair i don't know if there's something tied to the sun but i've been every person i meet here you know they you know the black people that i'm looking at they don't have no hair no more so, so what's going on with your hair <laughs> so what's going on with your hair mr flex junior number two let's see wait a minute good evening hey for it dreams how are you let's see uh, the Zara Green says, um, Hurricane Ida is what made me go international. Oh, that was it for me too. Matter of fact, the night, August 29th, Hurricane Ida, that was it. That's when I started um, meditating and manifesting this here house. And I'm telling y'all, these exact floors were the floors that I had in my mind. That exact carpet in that room was the carpet that I was feeding, touching, and experiencing. And in November, November 11th, I walked into a model of this particular house that I'm in. And I was like, this is it. I knew it because I knew what it felt like. But it took Hurricane Ida to come for me to say no more. Because like maybe two weeks prior to that, I was out here. 
at, at a retreat that felt like heaven to me to go back home and experience another hurricane, Hurricane Ida. I was, I was like, nah, I can't keep doing this. I know a place. I know a place, and this was the place, and I was like, I'm moving out there. Mentally, I moved that night, and now I'm here in the physical reality. I think that is just so awesome. Let's see. Um, the healing, tear me up spiritually, financially. Oh, wow. Wow. Nope, it was my parents. I've always had a love, a hate relationship with no, really? Oh, yeah, my, my parents are still there, too. Yeah, you had a love-hate relationship. Hmm. That says a lot. That says a lot. It, 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 yeah, I, I could understand that. I could understand exactly what you're saying. And my parents are still there too. And I'm hopeful that they'll come out to visit and get from out there because a lot of our parents, they get stuck and have never been nowhere. Probably scared to get on airplanes or take long rides and all that. But I'm hopeful that my parents will come out. Yep. But I totally understand each state has its own flavor. Yeah, yeah, we all do. We all do have our own flavor. Is the, the, is the people energy different? Yes, it is. The people here, I've lived the way most of my adult life. I only went back home during transitions. Oh, okay. Oh, Flex Junior. Flex Junior have hair, y'all. <laughs> to answer you, 38. Um, Yes, the people energy here is different. Everybody seems like they're um, more family and oriented here. They're about business. You know, New Orleans is about partying, what's up, let's chill, kind of like. But here is like, what do you own? What business do you have? You know, you know, family. And they, they you know, go to the work or, you know, do their business in, they in their own little world. You know, nobody don't really mess with nobody. They just in their own little world. It's very family focused business minded like every person that I've met so far out here own something <laughs> like hey I, I was talking to somebody the other day because I was getting my you know uh, driver's license and still you know registered here and I'm standing out there talking to this man and I was like oh okay do you like it here he's like yeah and he walked with me from the DMV place to go get something to eat because it was taking so long and he went behind the counter in this place where I was going to get something to eat from. And I was like, what are you doing back there? Don't you work down the street? He was like, actually, I own this whole strip. I was like, what? <laughs> he just walked from one, he walked from one business to the other. He was like, I was like, that's pretty cool. What like that? You know, just stuff like that that you might not find in other places, but they are business minded. They are really business money here, and I love that. I love to be around that energy of that resonates with me of where I um, am vibrating on or to, you know, to order in order to keep my energy maintained at that particular frequency too. So, say for example, you want more abundance of wealth or whatever, you should separate yourself from people that don't desire that. And get around or find those people that's already there because you go, you end up vibrating on the frequency with them. You know, it increases your frequency. It, it don't matter that you may have less money at that time than them. What matters is you around that abundance mindset because those thoughts are, are creating things. And them thoughts, you, you're getting a signal from their thoughts. They could not even be talking to you, but you're still picking up that signal. So that's why you should surround yourself in an environment mentally, physically, emotionally, however, which way you can to get to that lifestyle or that frequency, the way you're trying to head yourself to. That is really important. That's the most important thing. And that's what I really love about being here outside of the peace and tranquility like that you feel because you're around nature and the mountains and the sun that's pulsating and it feels like it's right here on your shoulders quickening you you know activating you all day every day it's a beautiful thing to me let's see so yeah the energy is different from New Orleans to answer your question life is good yes it is I hardly use that razor on my legs okay okay well I guess that's gonna be me too I went to this little fitness center out here. Uh, I think it's called The Village. And they had in the, you know, I did the tour or whatever. And they had the little razors in the bathroom, like, available. Just stacked up in order or whatever. And I'm thinking to myself, why they still have razors if nobody, if nobody don't have their legs no more? 
So I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Love that for you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. And when you love something for me, you loving it for yourself. No hurricane. Yeah, no hurricane here. Wait, I, the comment just jumped. The comment. Let me see. No hurt. Oh, here we go. Here, just monsoons. Dust songs will freak you out. I know. The second day that I came, I, I saw one on this highway that I was traveling on, and I was like, oh, crap. Because I didn't know. I didn't realize that I came during the monsoon season. But the good thing about it is that, well, first of all, I didn't know what to do. But I was at the store, and I asked some people, you know, what do you do? And they were like, just pull over on the side of the road and don't put on your lights or whatever, or just stay put where you are. But the beautiful thing about it is that it doesn't last long. It's not, you know, destroying your house. You can't see in it, but if you be still and wait, you know, it'll pass really soon from what I gathered from my own first experience. And it seemed like all you gotta do is really dust off after it. You know, it ain't like you gotta go climb on top of the roof and put a tarp up there. It ain't like you gotta wait for FEMA to come and, you know, pull up all the floors and stuff like that, you know? And fix the fence, you know, out here they have like the cement, like uh, brick, what they call it, center block type fences and stuff like that. It just don't, it don't seem like survival mode at all here, which I love. I love, I think it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, is that your hair? It looks mean. My hair is braided inside of here. No, no, no. Let's say peace. Hey, long star. But thank you, though. Thank you. My mom died. I needed new memories. Oh, bless you. Oh, yeah, I remember you told me that when I checked on you months ago. Yeah. Yeah, and it, you know, sometimes it, it, it's necessary to change your environment when you go through something like that because you're reliving it every day. And that got to be really emotional when your mother, somebody, you know, that, you know, you use as a photo is, is, is in a non-physical. So, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm happy you started those new memories, babe. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's my, that's what I hated about no. Oh, it's all about a party. Yeah. And so you get partied out. Like, and I'm, I mean, y'all could tell that I'm not a party person per se. So, you know, and I'm already an introvert. So I never really cared much about that part of NOLA, the party part. And even when you grow up in a certain place where there's always Mardi Gras, there's always party, there's always, you know, the second line, you know, you kind of, mm -hmm. there's always drinking. You're like, mm hmm. Shoot, by the time you about 15 years old, you don't even want no more liquor. You don't even want no more party. You party in all your life. Like, <laughs> you, are, you want something different. So on the opposite, you know, end of that party for me was here, you know, and I wanted to experience something different. And here is more peaceful, more laid back, business minded, doing something with your, with your life, being in a tune with your passion. And that's really where I am in my life. Let's see. I miss being so. That's funny. Yeah, I understood what you meant. Is what I loved about New York. I was there for ten years. The energy is activating. Yeah, yeah, it is. Different places will activate you, and you gotta find out what that place is for you because we all vibing on different frequencies. Yep, I keep a book with me. Pull over and read till it's done. Oh, that's what you do. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. That's a good idea to pull over. Yeah, cause it get, could could get kind of um, they <laughs> could get kind of scary and hard to see. And then they send you the alerts. You know, in New York, New York, New Orleans, you get the alerts about the hurricane coming here. You get an alert, and it was my first alert alert that said, um, in so many words, it might get down to zero visibility. I'm like, what? <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to see no more. <laughs> Now, that was kind of crazy to me, so I just still put, and it went really, really fast, but it looked scary in that moment. So, so peaceful, but there's tornadoes this way when I first came, the second week, it was one coming toward, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, the second day 
here, that's the same thing that happened. So I guess no matter where you go, you go get something. I think it rained. Wait, I think it rained maybe twice so far this year. Yeah, I got a sprinkle. So the day I came, it was sprinkling. And I was saying to myself, oh man, did I bring this water to these people? <laughs> you know, did I bring this energy from New Orleans? Because it don't never rain here. And it was sprinkling. But it smells so good, though. It smells so amazing when it rain out here versus New Orleans. It's like that fresh, oh, that fresh, I guess it's the minerals that I'm smelling. But it's like a fresh earth, earthy smell when all of the red dirt and stuff get wet. And so I thought that was really cool. And I recorded it, actually, and I was like, oh, this is so cute. Look, it's raining. But it smells so good. So it rained, it well sprinkled because it was monsoon season. And then the next day I got the um, the sand storm thing when I was out and about. So I was like, I'm getting both of the things that happened here already. Yeah, yeah, twice this year so far. I meditated and it's like, oh, thanks. Thanks, good for you. I'm glad you was able to send in yourself yeah, because, you know, you got to stay even with, with death, you know, because we got to separate ourselves from the idea of the physical attachment and attach ourselves energetic with love. And so love still connects you to her no matter what, even though she's in the non-physical right now. Love connects us all. So being in alignment is still having joy, still having peace, still being in your state of mind. Because when you're in alignment, you can't miss nobody. When you're in alignment, she's there present with you. So we got to learn, even though know, it may be hard in the first couple of weeks or months, whatever, maybe for the rest of your life, but you still, we got to learn to stay in alignment because I have people that have passed, you know, that I carry with me because love connects us all, you know, and so I'm not on a low frequency, boo -hoo, and it's not nosing about them because at that point, I can't feel them, their presence. I can't feel their love. And so I look at it like that, like, no, I'm not going to do that. In the beginning, yeah, give yourself that time to release the energy because your tear ducts do need the release. But then afterwards, you get, you, get, you get comfortable in knowing that they wouldn't want you to be like that at that low frequency. And then you get so strong in that knowing that, hey, if I'm like that, I'm not even going to be able to feel them. I'm not going to be able to think about them in a happy state of being. I'm not going to be able to dream about them. So, no, I'm going to stay my body in alignment because I want to be as close to them still as I possibly can. And energetically, that's the only way you're going to be able to do that. And so, it's always start with you. Yeah. Make those products for this climate. Yes, I scooped them up. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tweak it. Matter of fact, I met this lady who, um, these vendors who were selling different things out here and we were talking and sharing about you know what it takes you know to manipulate the products in order to make them really useful for people out here because she lives out here already so i've been doing a lot of networking with people about it because yeah i want my products to to be able to be used here because i'm gonna be here too and so i want to cater to this place as well let's see let's see okay oh I did that road trip last July doing my Oh, that's when you was doing that? When you went to go see your mama? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. It looked so pretty. But that's the thing. It looked pretty for one minute and then it come and didn't hit you. And <laughs> it didn't go away. Like, ain't nothing happened. Let's see. Dry fast, too. As soon as it hit the ground. I know it was gone. It was gone. It didn't last. That's why I was like, oh, that was so cute because it was over. And then I realized they didn't have drains. That was the first time I paid attention. They don't even have drains in the street. Like, in New Orleans, they have drains everywhere because something always, <laughs> something always happening with the water. Like, right? Areas flood. But they don't even have drains in the street. So the sun just take the little water and just... <laughs> I'll take that. And the poor little dirt in the plant, they be feeding for it. So I guess they jump on that water real quick. <laughs> Let's see. My dad is as present as ever, and we've always been two peas in a pod. Yeah. There you go. There you go. You hear that, huh? You hear that? You hear her talking about that, Mr. Um, 38? Yeah. She can, she can relate to what you're talking about. You, you just be present with them people. You just be present energetically with those people. 
But yeah, I just wanted to jump on real quick and ask about that. I'm so glad that you two, were, well, you three actually were here that live here, Mr. Flex, uh, the uh, Zora Green, and uh, Miss B and Soul, to let me know about this hair thing because I thought that was the wildest thing. And so, in a couple of videos from now, I ain't gonna have no hair on my arm, and I'm okay with that. Just as long as I still have hair on my head, and Miss B and Soul said my hair on my head gonna still be here. <laughs> And I'm holding you accountable for that. But it, it's cool. It's all good. I love it here. So there's no complaints. I just thought that it was funny. So what do you do about hydration though, Miss B and So? Besides the water. That y'all use a drink water like about a gallon a day all the time. What do you do? They had this lady, she was walking around with a spray bottle in her hand. <laughs> and she had water in the spray bottle in order with a misty setting so she would miss her face in her chance throughout the day she's and she said that helps her I'm like wow that's crazy but i didn't realize it because i love the sun and i'm sitting my butt out in the sun and i'm just baking myself loving on the sun i didn't realize it was really draining and you know like when you go to the store when you go to the store people in new orleans or wherever else it's like hey how you doing da, da, da. they don't really say that here they say hey stay hydrated they don't even care <laughs> How you doing? That's the verbiage they use when they talk to people. Like, hey, stay hydrated. I'm like, oh, okay. And here my butt that particular day wasn't doing it and just started sweating so fast. It's crazy that my body sent that signal to sweat when I was dehydrated. That was funny. Hey, Trey, how you doing? Hello, Miss Lerica, the professor. Let's see, most restaurants have that on their facility, the mist. Oh, okay. Okay, I haven't been to the restaurants yet. Okay, well, that's good to know. I don't remember feeling the misty thing, but I'm going to start doing what that lady did with the little spray when I go out, you know, in the sun, working out or at the park or whatever, because I don't want that to sneak up on me like that no more. Cause that was weird and i was i told him i was like she was talking to me and i was like um ma'am excuse me one moment uh i'm sweating a lot and i see that you're not <laughs> i see that you're not and i'm wondering if something is wrong here and that's when we started talking about you know the hair and sweating and staying hydrated that was the weirdest thing i never knew these things about this place but that's the coolest thing about our body and i'm still gonna find out what it is because I like to know. I'm just an inquisitive kind of nerdy person like that. But I want to know what it is. If it's the skin, the pores of the skin that's closing, or the hair shaft, or it's closing itself. Well, it's kind of two in the same, I guess. I don't know. But I got to figure that out. I think that's weird how you're not going to have no hair no more after so many months of just being in another place. I don't know. I'm going I'm to do research on it because I'm going to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> Let's see. Keep a water bottle with you all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I normally do. But today I didn't even go. I'm almost finished with my gallon. I just got this much here for the day. But today I didn't even go out yet in the sun. Because I was really trying to do some other things. But but I will. I will. Thank y'all so much for being here and y'all information and, and supporting me and commenting and, and, and sharing your experiences it really means a lot it really does i like talking to you all i like coming here i like to be in a place of peace always and this is this is my peace this is my passion this is the thing that i really want to do so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm figure, figure it out one day at a time i thank you for being here you all have the best rest of your day as possible hey you press i'm about to end it here but this video was from my heart to yours. Y'all stay hydrated as I stay hydrated. And pay attention to your arms and your legs. And make sure you still got here. Okay? <laughs> Be blessed, babe. <laughs>